Hello humans! Welcome to the less orchestrated show on the internet. Today I will try to reproduce some sound designs from the movie Dune for the clip I recreated in this video. If you're new on this channel, we do artistic challenges to create visual art and music using all kinds of tools, mostly open source software, to demonstrate that what really matters is your approach. In particular, in this show, we explore music production and sound design. So if you want to see how bad I am in comparison to Hans Zimmer, keep watching. I'm Artificial Marvin and you're watching The Beeping. My goal for this video is to recreate some sound effects and the soundtrack that subtly hints at the original score, without copying it but trying to imitate its sounds so that I can get a greater emotional impact from the clip I created a couple of videos ago. Ok, first of all, I tried to document myself as much as possible about the film and the soundtrack. And obviously, the first step to do in this case, besides having seen the film of course, is to listen the whole soundtrack created by Hans Zimmer, to try and get the atmospheres and the main sounds. The soundtrack is a mix of sound design and orchestral composition. Hans Zimmer has really succeeded in creating a soundtrack that gives an identity to the film. Oh, f yeah. It is unique, it's more than a classic soundtrack. It's a real sound installation that throws you directly into the world of Dune. Creating something that does it justice will be quite a challenge. In addition, I found this interview with Hans Zimmer where he explains in detail how and why he used certain sounds and atmospheres. Because nobody's ever done it. We're supposed to be on a different planet, different culture. We're supposed to be in the future. The most interesting part is the one where he described the instrument he uses. In fact, since he had to represent an alien world with its characteristics and costumes, he wanted to use, in particular, unconventional instruments. To invent instruments that don't exist, invent sounds that don't exist. For instance, I work with a chap called Chaz Smith, and he builds these sculptures that you can either hit or you can bow. He has basically built himself in Northern California a house which is a musical instrument built specifically to have a distinct sound. If you use a compressor, if you overuse it, it's, it, it feels like you're slamming your head against the door frame. I could then go and slam every syllable and make every syllable sound like, sound incredibly dangerous and violent. And he also put a lot of sound design and synths together with the classic instruments. And why are they electronic? Because I like making drum sound. So it is an instrument that doesn't exist anywhere. But can you make vowels while you're doing the air in a fluid and go like, no, don't do this to me. Even more, he also tried to make the classical instruments sound completely different, testing the skills of his players. For example, he used electric guitars, but he tried to bring out a big pipe sound from them. The bagpipe you hear is really my guitarist, Guthrie Garvin imitating a bagpipe on his guitar. In any case, most of the instruments used are winds and percussive instruments. The fact that he used unconventional instruments could work in my favor, as I could use synthesizer to create interesting sounds, maybe using physically modeled synths to recreate the percussion and the hoodwind sounds, and trying to exaggerate their sound to the extreme. I'm also a guitar player, so we'll see if I can stand up to get with Dovan's <coughs> performance. First of all, let's figure out what to use to recreate percussive sounds and holds. I could use a lot of physically modeled synth for this task, but since I decided to use open source tools, the choice becomes a bit more difficult. Maybe I could have more possibilities of expression directly programming a synth, but I just remembered that the Faust programming language provides very accurate examples of physically modeled synths, and in addition I can directly export the instruments as VST and load them in my digital audio workstation. So so first, let's focus on the sound design of the elements displayed in the clip.
I started setting up my work area in Ardor to begin editing and no way, after a couple of crashes, after Ardor refused to load 90% of my VSTs and after the discomfort of having to choose the parameters from an endless list of random junk, even just to use a filter, I decided to switch DAW and use Reaper, which has a faster workflow and, most importantly, can load all my VSTs. After all, despite being a proprietary software, Reaper has a lot of open source aspects, such as a lot of VSTs written in JS, whose code you can inspect directly, and they are all made by the community. I'm really annoyed that I can't use Ardor 6 on Linux, but maybe in the next update I'll be able at least to load all my VSTs. And then I set all the tracks once again, creating one of them for each element in the scene. And for the first sound, I decided to start with the Ornithopter propeller. And I must say that as a start, it was quite easy. I simply had to automate a filter to make it open and close very fast. And then I added some details, a more electronic sound, like a small electric engine running. Then I used a very large reverb, simulating a huge environment like the dune desert. Which I would apply to all the sounds I will create. After that, I had the idea of making the sound of the wind using my physically modeled wind instrument. I tried to modify the parameters to create huge instruments so that hair could pass through them and create the classic wind hiss. I actually made a subcontrabass duduk by putting this into a very long tube of PVC and I literally I cut the thing to get the different tones. I must say that the result is not bad at all. It sounds slightly synthetic, but I could make it more realistic by overlaying real samples on top of it. Moving to the worm, firstly I divided the sounds it makes into two categories. The first is a quiet whisper, and the second is a massive roar. For the first one, I was very lucky. I quickly found a vital preset that was perfect for that sound. For the second one, I decided to follow a similar path to the one taken by the sound designers Mark Mangini and Theo Green. In fact, in an interview you can see that the sample taken for creating the worm's roar was obtained by recording an hammer beaten against the sand. So I decided to use a kick as the basis of this sound. And then with some reverb, a chorus and a delay, I managed to get a sound very similar to the one in the movie. For the rest of the sounds, I used CC0 samples downloaded from freesound.org, such as the sound of a flag fluttering in the wind and various wind sounds. Ok, it's time to move on to the soundtrack. First of all, I searched in the original soundtrack for pieces that could inspire me and I arranged them at three different times in my clip. I divided them into an intro, a central theme and an outro. For the intro, I chose a very rhythmic part of the soundtrack that created a very strong tension with the melody and to me it seemed ideal to introduce the reveal of my clip. After that, I went back to free sound to look for loops I could use. The soundtrack is full of percussive sounds, so that was the first thing I tried to get. Then I synced all the loops and used them as the basis for the horn that I would edit later. And after experimenting a bit with the physically model instrument, I played with their parameters to see the range of sounds I could get out of them. As the first instrument, I recorded a flute, which I tried to make as big as possible to get a very low sound.
but even with the parameter set as low as possible, I couldn't get the pitch low enough. So I had to use a pitch shifter to lower it further. This created some slight artifacts in the sound. But hey, we are looking for experimental sounds, right? And then I repeated the exact same thing for every wind instrument I could find in the physical modeling library. And after a quick mix, the central theme is ready. My reference consisted only of an impact sound with a melodic overhang. So first I have to create a very impactful kick. After that, I moved to the melodic part, and after trying to reuse the same instrument as before, I decided that for this section I needed different sounds. So I tried to recreate a physically modeled sound using a normal synth. To create a physically modeled sound, all you need is an exciter. Um, not that. Which then goes through a resonator. We could compare it to a drumstick hitting a drum, or the breath blown into a flute. So all you need in a synthesizer is a quick pulse of some noise sounds, pass through a filter. The parameters I had at my disposal, in this case, were not so granular as those I had before, but I managed to get some really interesting textures anyway. Well, it's time to bring out all my skills as a guitarist, because now it's time to rock! So, after 20 minutes of fiddling around with my guitar, I finally decided to record something. After that, I added a few synths to enrich the sound textures. And after a quick mix, this part was also finished. Again, I used the same sample as before and rearranged them differently. But this time I used the classic synthesizer as the main instrument. I tried to play a very bass heavy chord and then on top of that I improvised with my guitar. Obviously, I recorded several takes of it, and in the end, I chose the best ones for the final composition. So, this is the final result. I think I did a good job. Obviously, it's not comparable to the original, but I think the sound design came out very well, and the soundtrack succeeds in introducing the mood of the video. What do you think? If you have any comment or suggestion, please write it in the section down below. Do you remember when I told you about my spine issue? It was about a week back. I used to be a baker, but I didn't make enough dough. I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. My English teacher got really angry about the format of my essay. It wasn't justified. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. Until the next challenge, as always, thank you for watching, bye humans! The soundtrack is 50% of a good video product, so it deserves proper attention. Same attention that I put into composing the soundtracks for this channel. If you're curious to see what I've been up to, I suggest you to take a look at these videos. You won't regret it. Or maybe you will.